Good evening. My name is Alexander Hagen. I'm a former Bernie Sanders delegate alternate in 2016 and 2020. I'm a CEO of a small, medium-sized tech company in Silicon Valley. And uh, tonight I want to speak to you about the presidential election in 2024 and the astonishing news today uh, that came out through a polling company that RFK in a general election poll polls at 34 uh, percent, which is uh, a enormous jump. Um, Biden is polling at 35 percent. And um, you have to pay money to get the, the full poll details. And I cannot believe how little press this is getting. And I wanted to say um, that, you know, for credit where credit is due, uh, the Biden administration did push through some collaborative legislation with the progressive movement it was a little porky, but uh, meaning that, for example, on a new renewable energy, there was money in there for oil, you know, certain projects um, uh, might not be the way you would have done them, uh, uh, you know, uh, but overall, there was some very major initiatives that were uh, helpful to the uh, the middle class. But you know, business heavy uh, and so forth. Um, but uh, I have to say that if you're considering either, uh, you know, Biden or Trump, um, What RFK would argue is that although Trump says the right things when it comes, uh, and of course, many progressives and Democrats will not agree with that, but he would say that where Trump says, you know, the system is rigged, for example, he actually gets rolled by the deep state or uh, establishment of a Republican Party people, horrible people that he brings into his administration. Um, and uh, if we look at, you know, what, why would I consider RFK over Biden? My initial uh, list was that uh, he would appoint administrators not beholden to corporate interests to run our regulatory agencies, which is huge, because when you combine the regulated, regulatees, the companies regulated by them, and the regulatory agency budgets, you end up with, you know, most of the U.S. economy is affected by this. Uh, and he will adopt a policy of refocusing from a military to diplomatic approach, foreign policy, which could have huge benefits to the world. We could collectively reduce military spending by 50 or 75 percent, reduce the risk to everybody, you know, get rid of uh, most of the, if not all of these nukes, uh, and uh, just cool off and put the money into your middle class, into universities and parks and, uh, uh, you know, whatever you think will help your middle class more than making nuclear missiles, which has one of the worst returns uh, 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 in labor possible, especially when you consider about uh, the dirtiness of dealing with nuclear materials. Um, and, you know, he said he would end the Ukraine conflict, uh, that he, my belief is that he would not provoke China over Taiwan and allow time for them to, to peacefully develop uh, uh, one country, two system uh, state, um, which would presumably, probably in the long run, end up uh, becoming more and more similar to each other with the, uh, the larger party likely to do most of the influencing, but not all of the influencing. Uh, and, uh, you know, as I said, greatly reduce military spending. Uh, Biden has had a terrible record of having approved more oil and gas leases even than Trump, thousands of them. Uh, you know, RFK has come out against jailing and prosecution and Im intimidation of activist journalists and dissidents. Uh, and I believe he really articulates well uh, the um, positive attributes of, of late JFK, because JFK came into office as a Cold War. But halfway through his term, he saw the world very differently. It would be how I would 
summarize it. Uh, and of course, his brother, RFK, uh, was actually on the uh, House Un-American Activities Commission. Uh, and so he had a real conversion. But it seems quite uh, a genuine, uh, the conversion that they had through their experiences. Um, and also how the world itself was mature. These are smart guys going from the 1950s mentality to the 1960s mentality. So your exposure to, uh, you know, to, to black people, and their culture and all kinds of Jewish people, all of that got more and more mainstream. Uh, so, you know, that would, that would shape some of these uh, liberal aristocrats. Uh, and to me, it's very interesting that we come full circle with RFK uh, Jr., a closing loop on the murder of our two possibly best presidents that we ever had. I mean, I think Roosevelt was a good president. I don't want to overdo it on Kennedy, but, uh, you know, he did manage to avert a nuclear catastrophe, and he was trying to get us out of the Vietnam War. Or, or, uh, or and, and certainly he, you know, he wrote a national security directive or a, a national, yeah, I think that's what they call them, uh, just a few weeks before he was killed that was recommending that the U.S. gradually get even their advisors out of Vietnam. And then the new issues I'm learning about, which are pretty shocking, is uh, so, so we have these people who are saying that if you question science, you're uh, uh, a conspiracy theorist. But the fundamental function of science is to question science. The problem is that uh, we're, all, we're all allegedly amateurs. We'll get it wrong. So we have to trust the experts. So, uh, but, but science itself is the questioning of previous science. Otherwise, you don't create any science. And uh, the fact that uh, Tony Fauci uh, was not at all forthcoming about the fact that he had been working on gain of function research uh, for coronavirus was likely uh, involved in developing the coronavirus, which ultimately leaked. So you can imagine how sinister that would be if that is the case. And, and uh, he was interviewed actually by a conservative outlet uh, uh, yesterday. Um, and his, uh, you know, he keeps dropping more and more details that are just mind boggling. So the, you know, the bottom line is uh, you, he wants to, for example, eliminate advertising on television for drugs. That would cut TV ad revenue from 67 billion. It would open up 50 billion of that to replacement ads because that's how much pharma spends roughly. Is something like three quarters of all TV ads are pharma. Uh, in, in dollar um, so um, so you know he has picked quite the adversary and uh, and in fact this is you know the way to try to stem uh, the corruption of the pharmaceutical industry because there's no need uh, and we had until 1997 a law preventing the advertising of drugs because normally these prescription drugs are um, are, are a decision the doctor makes on your behalf and you don't have manufacturers telling you about their various products and then asking you to go ask your doctor about it. So I don't want to dwell on this too much, but the questioning of science is for people who are interested in learning the cutting edge of the field. Where's the controversy? There's always controversy in every field. Uh, so, you know, these are some of my thoughts about uh, why at this time, certainly RFK Jr. is, is vastly superior to either uh, Biden or Trump. And now he very much is emerging as a front runner in a three-way race.